a common and valid complaint from truckers, RV drivers, box truck drivers, anyone with a tall vehicle that uses Google Maps regularly this is they say, where's that vehicle height warning feature? Well, it doesn't have one, but I'm showing this discussion on purpose and it will be linked so you can check it out for yourself. The request has been made and it's been it was made years ago. This one's from 2019. The guy talks about a bridge near his office that gets hit by tall trucks almost every week and yeah, we really, really need this feature in here. There is some discussion on it and ultimately, you know, the discussion was closed as of January 2020, long time ago at this point. But yeah, the request was made, but it's not in Google Maps, so what do you do? Well, I will give you two options. The first one will be something you would buy, and the second one is something that is free that you can use right now. Let's go to the paid one first, Garmin.com, and then go to Automotive Trucks. And scroll down to the Diesel Over the Road series. This is a trucker's GPS. I get asked this a lot, actually, in my videos. They're like, hey, I saw that Garmin that you talked about. Is it good for trucks? Is it good for trucks? And I say the same thing every time. And it's like, listen, if you want a trucker's GPS, you need a Garmin diesel. Because, well, actually, before I explain that, so anyway, the diesel is anywhere from 350 to 900. You've got 6 inch, 7 inch, 8 inch, 10 inch, and there are headset options for this, and it has the ability to, with the custom truck routing to enter your length and the height of the vehicle and so on and most importantly per the dis yeah try that again per the discussion in this video um it supposedly in the map data does have uh bridge warnings have i ever tested this no because a i don't drive a truck tall truck and b i don't own a diesel series so i've never been able to test this personally but supposedly it is in there so that is option one is a diesel a garmin diesel over the road model oh yeah it's good it's good now for the free one which is lowclearancemap.com and before getting into how this works a big disclaimer big huge which they also say themselves the uh, person who runs this site Okay, all the information for structures in the USA is pulled directly from the National Bridge Inventory and it points to the DOT.gov website. It's the most complete thing, the com most complete database they could find at the time, and then they say, but it does have missing information. Meaning, if you use this, that doesn't mean you can explicitly trust it. It's as good as they could make it. I want to make that real clear. It doesn't mean you can just make a route with this and we off we go and I don't have to worry about low clearances ever again. That's not what I'm saying and that's not what this site says either. So you have to know that up front. So that being said, actually let's just take a look at the disclaimer here. And they say, hey, graphical purposes only. It does not represent a legal survey. Every effort has been made to ensure the data is accurate, reliable, and they don't assume liability for anything. So yeah, and I will echo that as I just did right now. <laughs> just bear that in mind. Okay, now before we even plot a route, let's just look at map all low clearances. Oh, actually, we have to set our vehicle height first. So I'll, I'll choose the tallest one, 18 feet, map all low clearances. And what you're about to see, this, oh no, no, we don't want the error. No, don't give me an error. Oh, you're making me look bad. Okay, there we go. Whew. <laughs> now you can choose to enter a donation if you want, but I can X that out. And sometimes just this map, even before we start to do routes, this, sometimes this is good enough. 
So I'm going to zoom in to New England, to Connecticut. Okay. Going to get closer. I'll go into the Waterbury area. There's eight of them there. Zoom in nice and tight. And if I click on any one of these, okay, Bank Street Ramp 198, 15 foot clearance. This one's got a 15 foot clearance. This one's got a 15 foot clearance. What about here? Click this guy. 18 feet, I think that's what that is. 15, 15. But you get the idea. Even before uh, routing anything, I can just go all over the map here, wherever I am. United States or Canada. So let's run over in the Calgary. Yep, there's one's 15, 13.2. You get the information you need, which is good. And it's, uh, yeah, they even have all the way. Let's go down here. All the way to Hawaii. 18, 15. Anyway, you get the idea. You can just go all over the map here, get all the information. That's cool. Anyway, let's go back. And now let's do an actual route. And I will show you the advantages and the immediate disadvantage of using this. So let's go from. Worcester, Massachusetts, Danbury, Connecticut. From that's from the northeastern, southern Massachusetts actually, down to the southwestern part of Connecticut. 18 feet submit route. Takes a second. And X that out. Okay, so there is my route. And there are all the bridge warnings, or the low clearance warnings, rather. So let me just get in here, get right into Hartford. Yep, there's an 18 foot. There's a 12 foot right there. And it says where it is. Okay. Now, if this map looks a little weird to you, this is because this is not Google Maps we're looking at right now. This is open street map. And you might be looking at this right now and saying, hey, that's great. I love this. Well, here's the disadvantage, is that it's not offering me any alternative route. That's the disadvantage of using this, is it gives you one route. And you'll notice that when I go to submit a route, there's no options to choose what to any roads to avoid or anything like that. It's basic. However, even though that's true, this is still, this is something you can use right now. That's the whole point. You can go to lowclearancemap.com. You can put in a route from A to B and say, okay, I know all the stuff I'm going, well, as, as much as the database, however accurate that is, I know all the stuff that I'm going to run into, well, okay, bad choice of words. <laughs> you don't want to run into this stuff. <laughs> that was a horrible choice of words. All the stuff to avoid. There we go. On your route, and then you can look at this and say, okay, well, where is this? This is on I-84 I westbound, so I would have to get around this somehow, maybe go up here. I don't know. Again, I'm, I'm not a tall vehicle driver. But this is good. Personally, for me, what I like better is actually the map all low clearances. That I like better. Because when I take a look at this, okay, is it actually going to show me this time? Oh, come on. No, don't do that. Making me look bad again. I don't knock the site when it, oh, don't do that, come on. Sometimes I gotta hit it a few times to make it work. 
Is it going to do it this time? Okay, there we go. I don't knock this site when it has problems, though, because seriously, what else are you going to do? That's that's free. I don't make a single complaint about this, even when it screws up. I'm like, okay, you know what? They're not charging anything. I'm not complaining, and I don't. This, anyway, as I was saying, this is actually more valuable to me than the route planning, because... I can just look at this and say, okay, okay, if I'm going to head down towards, like, let's just say around here in New York, yeah, especially traveling around here, this is rough. I can get right in here and say, okay, there's an 18, there's a 15, there's a 15. It just, it gives me what, if I was a tall vehicle driver, this gives me the info. Because it's all about the information at the end of the day. It's just good stuff. So, low clearance map. No, they didn't pay me to say this. They don't even know who I am. And that's fine. But for you tall vehicle drivers out there, yep, you got your paid option. Well, of course, there are commercial systems as well. But for something you can own yourself that's paid for, you can get your diesel over the road series from Garmin or actually and you could or and or you can just low clearance map go there and just get the information you need 